So this next drawer is more liquid lipsticks and right off the bat I know I'm going to get rid of this tart, tardiest or tardest lip paint in the color Namaste. I didn't really care for this formula. It was too um, moussey and it moved around. It doesn't really dry super matte and it uh, it was just an odd it was just an odd formula. So I'm just going to pass this one along to somebody who would like it more. And then this one, the Maybelline Vivid Matte Lip uh, Liquid in the color Nude Flush. I hated this formula. It was kind of weird because it numbs my lips and it kind of has this like chemically taste to it that gets into your mouth and it's, it's like I drank a whole bunch of water and I couldn't get rid of of the, the taste, this nasty taste that I had in my mouth. So I didn't like how it numbs your lips. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss this one because I don't know if anybody else had an issue with that for, with the formula doing that, but I may have gotten a bad batch. So I'm just going to go ahead and toss this one. So these two are minis from uh, Kat Von D and they came in a duo. You have the color Sus. Susperia. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. It's just like this gorgeous purple. And then Melancholia. Menin, Menin, I'm not sure how you pronounce the names. I'll put it on the screen. Um, and I really like the formula of Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, but I do have to mix it in with um, a, a lip balm or put a lip balm underneath because it is a little bit drying but I do really like these two colors this one is a little bit lighter than the color um, the color pop the Too Faced uh, lip, liquid lipstick that I have so I am going to go ahead and keep these two these right here um, I have the color this is an ultra matte lip from color pop in the color Lumiere 2 and I really, really like this co this color, but I'm not too sure about the ColourPop formula. It tends to separate a lot. It's really, really liquidy. If you do have these, just be careful when you're opening and closing them. But I am keeping Lumiere too. And then these three are my Ultra Satin Lips. And I don't know if you guys can see, but the label has been pretty much worn off of this one right here and this one is almost gone. These two are the colors that I use the most. This one is in Magic Wand and it's just like a nudie color. And then this one is in Spritz and it's like a peachy pinky. Oh my God, I love the formula of the satin lips, but I've been holding off getting off getting more because I have so many lip products. So that's why I pretty much just purchased the two that I'm gonna be using the most. And then I also picked up Marshmallow because it's such a unique color in my opinion. I really, really like um, Marshmallow. So these are the only three satin lips that I have and I am keeping all three of them. Then I have three NYX liquid suede. I like the formula of these. This one I got in a subscription box um, and it's in the color uh, soft spoken. It's more of like a mauvey brown. And then I have a corally one in the color Life's a Beach. And then a pinky one in the color Tea and Cookies. I like the formula of these, so I'm going to keep all three of these. Then I have my Infinite Pro Matte Glosses from L'Oreal. And I have number 318 in Bare Attraction, which is a nude, and then 300 in Blushing Ambition, which is a pinky color. And I do like the formula of these, but they don't necessarily dry matte. So all these have a very, very similar formula where they dry kind of satin and they don't, um, full, they're not like transfer proof. This one is uh, completely matte and it, it, it is transfer proof. And then these minis, I don't know, I may not keep all of them. So these are all the mini um, ultra matte lips from ColourPop. So I, I don't know. Um, Let's see. I'm going to keep glitter because it's a unique color. 
I think I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna keep Be Merry because I don't have a pink like this, but the rest of these I'm gonna get rid of because between my Stila's and Dose of Colors, I have colors that are very, very similar to these. These are all pretty much like nudes, nudie pinks. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these and just pass them along to somebody. This one is Clueless, which is a very popular one. Uh, Bianca. Times Square and Beeper. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass these along. I actually haven't even used these. I'm not, I, ha I don't know, I don't think I've swatched them. Yeah, so these two I haven't even swatched and then these two I have. So I am gonna just go ahead and um, put these two in a giveaway pile and give these two to somebody else. So this is everything that I'm keeping in my liquid lipstick drawer. Oh, one more that I have is the, um, this is the full size of the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the color Lovesick. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous mauve pink. It's just the perfect everyday mauve pink color. It does dry down a little bit darker than that. So I like to lighten this up with pure Hollywood just because it, it dries down a little bit more like a purpley pink, but a little bit more darker. So I do lighten it up with pure Hollywood. But this is everything that I'm keeping in my liquid lipstick drawer. Next, I have my drugstore lipsticks. So right off the bat, I know I'm gonna get rid of this CoverGirl lip gloss in the color 305 Hot Passion. Um, I, I've just had this for a really, really long time. It's a really nice red, but I am keeping that NARS red um, lipstick. This is a really, really nice red. I had purchased this one um, for a Halloween costume one year. I decided to be a uh, Minnie Mouse and I needed a really, really red lipstick. And this was absolutely perfect. It lasted all night. It stained. But like I said, I um, already have a red in my collection and I just want to keep one red because I don't use red lipsticks. I pretty much only use it if I'm wearing a costume. I don't really like the color. Like it's not that it doesn't suit my skin tone because people say it does, but I don't really like the way it looks on me. It's not really my color. Um, it has really nothing to do with my skin tone. I think anybody can pull off a red, but I'm going to get rid of this. Then I have these four from Maybelline and these are part of like their matte, the matte line and um, I don't know, some of these are, some of these are nice, but some are a little bit patchy. So this one was in Daringly Nude. This one I think is the one that's patchy. It's in Lust for Blush. And it's like a mauve color. No, oh, this one's okay. Uh, Ravishing Rose. This is the patchy one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one in Ravishing Rose. And then we have Pink Sugar, which I think this one was patchy as well. Yeah, this one was one of the ones that was patchy in Pink Sugar. So I'm getting rid of this one. These two are from Rimmel and these are their Moisture Renew lipsticks. Um, so these are have a lot of shimmer in them. So this one is in to nude or not to nude. And that's it right there. And I don't know if you guys can see how much shimmer is in this uh, lipstick, but I do like the formula of these. And then this one is in Berry Rose number uh, 260. Oh, that's it right there. Um, this one is a little bit patchy. You do have to wear a lip liner underneath it, but it's 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 gorgeous. I love these two. I love the formula of these. Um, they're very, very smooth and creamy. The next three are from Wet n Wild. And I had a whole bunch of these. I already decluttered a lot of them. 
Um, and I kept these three. So I have 902C and Bear It All because it is just the perfect nude. So that's right, it right there in Bear It All. These do get really messy though, but I still love them. Um, and this is Sugar Plum Fairy. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. These are a bit, um, they do tug when you apply them, but they're, they're still really, really nice. They wear a long time too, the Sugar Plum Fairy um, stains, but it's, it's still really nice. This is a dupe for the MAC Lipstick in um oh i can't remember the name i'll insert it somewhere on the screen but i originally purchased this because i wanted the matte mac lipstick and um i just couldn't afford it at the time so i purchased that one and um this is 90c 907c mauve out of here and it's just this really pretty uh rosy color so that's it right there and it's a gorgeous color, and um, I, like I said, I really like the formula of these, so I am keeping these. Um, I have a lipstick from Bella Pierre, and this is in the color pink. It's just a very standard um, kind of nudie, not nudie pink, a uh, rosy pink. Um, I don't know about this one. I'll, I'll, I'll put it to the side to see if I'm keeping it. I don't know if you guys can see how the red uh, stains my hand. Um, but that was one of the nice things about that CoverGirl uh, red lipstick is that it does um, stain your hand and um, it does wear for a really, really long time. So the next one I have here is from um, a a Jamberry. Um, I used to get their style boxes which is like the monthly subscription service and they came out with this exclusive um lipstick called chic and pink it's it's been about a year since they came out with this um color but i really really like this lipstick it's uh a little patchy but it it wears nicely on top of a lip liner like it doesn't tuck tug on the lip liner and it's just a very standard pink like it's just a very very that's like the perfect pink it doesn't lean too much red it's it's more like a hot like a hot pink but not like super neon super vibrant um I actually don't have a pink like this in my collection so I'm going to keep that one and then I have two from um the Kate uh, uh Kate Rimmel line I believe these are yeah these are uh um Rim, uh, Kate by Rimmel or Rimmel by Kate or something like that. This one is in the color 08. I guess it doesn't have a name. I guess it just has a number. And it's just a very standard like mauve pink. I like the formula of these even though I have a ton of colors, um, lipsticks in that color. And then this one is a little bit darker. I guess they don't have names. They just have numbers. So that first one was 08 and then this one is 17. It's a little bit more of like a, a dustier mauve versus this has a little bit more like purple in it, I guess. It's a little bit darker, but I, I really, really like these two. They're really, really easy to just throw on the lips. Um, so I am going to go ahead and keep these. So this is all I'm keeping from my in my drugstore uh, drawer. So um i think i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this bella pierre one it's a it's a nice color i think the wet and i like the wet and wild one a lot better so i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it so this is um my higher end lipstick drawer and um i pretty much i don't know how many of these i'm gonna get rid of um but let's start with ones i know there's one in here that um i may be getting rid of and this one is my bills be paid uh by the bomb and it's just like a very standard nude i like the formula of this one so i'm gonna keep this one but the other one in i'm a good kisser is kind of shimmery and it's patchy. I don't really like the formula of this one, so um, I'm probably just gonna sanitize this one and sell it if I can. These next two are from Clinique, 
And this is a, the High Impact Lip Color in number 19, Extreme Pink. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one because it is um, shimmery and a bit patchy. And then this one is in number 11, Peach Pop. Um, this one is nice and shimmery, but it's not as patchy as the, um, the other color, so I am going to keep this one. This one is from Kat Von D, and it's one of her studded lipsticks. It's a mini, and this is in the color Homegirl, and I just... I just don't like this. It's super patchy, super drying. Um, I don't, mm, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this one or pass this along to somebody. The next one is from Laura Mercier and it's called Milky Way and I really like this one. Um, as you guys can see, I like to mix other lipsticks with this. It's just the perfect like creamy nude, brownie nude to kind of lighten up other colors. Very similar to this Trustique one, but this is more um, glossy than the Trustique. The Trustique is more matte. So if I wanna um, lighten up something that has a little bit of a gloss to it, I'll grab this one. Then I have my YSL mini lipstick in, um, this is the Rouge Pure Couture. I think this is just in the number one. It's, it's a red. Oh, it's a, it's a gorgeous red. So that's my NARS matte velvet, and that's the YSL one. I think, even though I said I was only going to keep one red, I think I'm going to keep both because this one has, is a little bit darker of a red, and this one is a lot more brighter of a red. So I'm going to keep two, but I'm not going to keep any more than that. Just these two because they are different. Um, and just in comparison to the CoverGirl one, yeah, so this one's the exact same uh, intensity as the CoverGirl one. I'm going to get rid of the CoverGirl and I'm going to keep the YSL. Then I have two from Smashbox and these are just their Be Legendary lipsticks. And this is this one is in the color Pout. I got this in a set with the lip gloss. And I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to sanitize it and get rid of it because it's just too, I don't know, it's just too light of a pink. I don't really, really, I don't really like this color. Then this one is another Be Legendary lipstick in the color Magenta Matte. And I really love this lipstick. It is such a bright pinky, um, purpley pink like it's it's a really really nice color so I am keeping this one I have four from NARS these two are their minis um this one is in the color Scarlet Empress and it's just a really pretty um purpley it is a bit patchy but it wears really nicely with a lip liner this one is a is in the color Dolce Vita, and this one is a little bit more um, on the sheer side. So I actually think I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in my um, my lip balm area. Um, so I'm gonna put this on the side because it is a very sheer uh, lipstick. I have two Nars Audacious lipsticks, and I have the colors. Anna and Anita. I know I'm definitely going to be keeping these two, um, but this is Anna and this is Anita. So this is more of like the mauve and this is more of like a peachy, um, peachy nude color, but these are just absolutely stunning. It's just one swipe and you get amazing pigmentation color payoff they they last a really long time on the lips i want to pick up more of these audacious lipsticks but they're so expensive so i've been holding off on those um the next three i have are from Lorac, and i got these in a set with the matching lip liners and um blushes from ulta and this first one is in the color seductress 
and that's it right there it's a gorgeous creamy uh, rose the next one is more of like a uh, uh, kind of like a, a nudie with a little bit of mauve in it and this is in the color CEO yeah it's like a nudie mauve color that's it right there these are their alter ego lipsticks I don't know if I um, said that and then this is in the color Duchess and this is just the perfect like nudie nudie color so that's Duchess right there and I am keeping all three of these these are oh my god these are really really nice and the last one I recently picked up from a CCO and I've been wanting to try one of these lipsticks from Estee Lauder um and because it was at a CCO, it was at a really, really nice price. So I picked up the color. This is the Pure Color Lasting Cream Lipstick in the color 82 Pinkberry. And the packaging is just so luxurious. I love Estee Lauder packaging. Um, but it's just a gorgeous, mauve pinky nude. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. I want to definitely get more of these. So I want to get more Estee Lauder lipsticks and more NARS Audacious lipsticks. Um, but for now, this is what I'm keeping. So this is everything that I'm keeping in my high-end drawer. So these are all of the lipsticks that I'm getting rid of. There's a total of um, 19 lipsticks. I did put two of them in my uh, giveaway pile because they were brand new and weren't sw weren't swatched. So some of these I'm gonna try and sell. Others I'm just gonna pass along um, to my friends or family. Thank you for watching my lipstick collection and declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be doing lip glosses next. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.